Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you a quick One Piece anime news video. Now, I had actually literally just found out about this, but according to Anime News Network, One Piece anime gets December special featuring Remax with the Foxy Pirate. The official website for the One Piece franchise announced on Monday that One Piece will get a TV anime special on December 19th, titled One Piece Adventure to Nelvilanda. I think that's how you pronounce that, but it's not an English word, so I may have butchered it to hell. But the special will be held will be the first the special will be the anime's first winter special. That's interesting. The special with a completely original story will take place on a devil fruit blocking fog island in the new world that keeps devil fruit users from being able to use their powers. The crew will also have a rematch with the Foxy Pirate from the Davy Back fight, fight arc. Foxy now has three new subordinates Dojack, Kanjo, and Kome, the latter of which whom is a member of a family of genius tacticians. Komei divided the plan where Laurel and Sanji take part in an eating contest, and the two eat, eat a strange good for nothing only mustard that turns them into good for nothing men. The two are then locked in a jail cell when the straw hat pirates chase after their imprisoned crew. They land on the island of Delorina, which features a, a mysterious fog made from seawater and has the same effect as sea stone. The Straw Hats arrive on Nell Arena is, a, is also a part of Kamoi's plan. The festival will air December 19th from 9, from 9 p.m. to 11.10 p.m. on Fuji TV. The previous best TV festival episode of Sabo aired on August 22. The end of the festival announcement, the end of the festival announced that that the 13th anime film in the franchise will open in summer 2015. If a One Piece film opens every year in Japan between 2000 and 2009, since then, aside from One Piece Film Day and the 30 minute One Piece Mugiwara Chase film in 2011, Fuji TV has aired numerous long specials such as One Piece, One Piece, Hand Island No Boken. I'm gonna butcher some of these names, by the way, guys. One Piece, Episode of Nami. Ko Kaishida. Noria Turo, Nakama no Nio. Episode of Mary, Mo Hitoro no Nakama no Mogiratana. See, I'm butchering all of it. One Piece, 3D2I, 8 no G. Wokai, Luffy Nakama, 2 no Chikai. But you know, I probably butchered all those names, but guys, this is really awesome news. Because, let's all be honest, while I did not like the Davy Back fight arc, Foxy is amazing. He is a, an amazing character, he's pretty good, however, I am disappointed because it makes it appear that Foxy will not be returning to the canon story if Oda is letting them do whatever they want with him. Also, also, I will say, I do like the designs I'm seeing for some of these guys. I'm in this. I really like how, isn't it, I think Rob had a great mistake, a very similar outfit to what Violet was wearing. I love what Brooke is wearing. Um, Ustop looks kind of stupid in what he's wearing, if you ask me. I Frankie looks like Frankie. I, Sanji's there. Chop, Chopper looks be that thing. Nami. Yeah, nothing, no, nothing impressive. Luffy down it looks the same, but it looks like he has some designs on his shirt. Foxy and the others, you can't really get a good look at them, and I don't really remember their outfits very well. But, I'm not sure how I feel about this fog having the same effect as Sea Stone, because unless they're going to incapacitate Luffy, it wouldn't make sense. Because Luffy always is very overdramatic with Sea Stone, like he grabs it and he like falls to his knees. I, it's either, there are two things, it's either Luffy is overdramatic, or 
Sea Stone doesn't work, or Sea Stone works differently depending on who on the plot. I really don't know because when Robbie was growing those Sea Stone cusps in um any lobby, she couldn't use her power, and her hands were were bound together. But besides that, she was fine. It's not like she was in, like falling onto her knees half dead. But yeah, so, but in Luffy's case, he's like, oh, oh, I'm so tired. It's like, so I'm, so I'm assuming what they mean by the same effect as Sea Stone is that it, it rendered Bedellifer user incapable of using their abilities, but I'm assuming it doesn't make them weaker, and I think this is supposed to make it a challenging for Luffy, but I don't think it would, because... Luffy is skilled enough in hockey that I, Luffy along with people, uh, Luffy's hockey skill is really high. I understand what you're doing. You're getting rid of Zoro and Sanji, right? So, and then you're going, your plan is to get Zoro and Sanji out of the picture. So render it, and render it though, but only at a capable fighter at the moment is really Luffy and Frankie and Nami. Those will be, and Usa. Those will be the only people that can fight. Because Sanji and Zoro are out of the picture. You have to realize Robin can't Robin can't really fight. We never see her fight without her devil fruit. So she'll probably be completely useless without it. Chopper without his devil fruit ability can't even talk. So Chopper will barely be a character if she can't use his devil fruit. Brooke is obviously not able to do anything if his powers don't work. So, I understand what they're doing, like, they the, the challenge will be that it will really just be Usopp, Frankie, Nami, and Luffy will be, you know, taking these guys on. But in just, Luffy's hockey is so good, I'm assuming that Zola's in trouble, and I don't see that, it's not like they're going to agree to another Davy back fight. I mean, Luffy's an idiot, but, but, but even if Zoro and Sanji aren't there... Robin, can, Robin, unlike uh, Brook and Chopper, is still there. So Robin is still there and could be like, I know what happened last time. This is a terrible idea, Luffy. And Nami is still there. She can be like, Luffy, this is a bad idea. Of course, Frank, though, they will, and Usopp can also be like, Luffy, this is a bad idea. The three of them will be the ones probably telling Luffy we should not do a Davy back fight if they're, if they're challenged to a rematch. Because, of course, Frankie will probably be like, what the hell is the Navy back fight? What the hell are you people talking about? He wasn't there. <coughs> but, and it was never shared with us if they ever tell each other stories. I'm assuming they talk about their previous adventures sometime, but it was never confirmed. So, I just wanted to say, um, yeah, this, I just wanted to bring you guys this news, I mean... It's, I'm happy about it. I just don't know what to think of it. I may actually do a video on this this week. This may be my. I may do an. I may do an extra discussion video this week because I don't have school after to, tomorrow. My last day of school for the whole week, so I may do a discussion video on this because I'm gonna have a lot of time on my hands this week. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more One Piece videos. And I have a lot of other One Piece content. I have some Dragon Ball content. In fact, I am planning to release a Gohan video later this week. I'm not going to go into detail with the belt, though. I've already mentioned it before, I think, in a live stream or something. But that's besides the point. So, yeah. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. One Piece Nation, signing out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.